Maybe getting hit right here, guys. I know I got a live bait on that rod on the left of the, of the yellow one. But I'm thinking it's a piece of cut bait on this rod, this yellow right here. Let's see if he's going to pick us up. I'm still trying to get the equipment out. Trying to get these cameras set up. This is either looking like a maybe a flat head or it could be a little small one. Let's see what he's gonna do here. Alright, butter band, what you gonna do? Pull it down or not, big dog. We're about to check him out and see what's going to happen here. He's swimming off with it and coming back, and swimming off and coming back. If it's a flathead, I don't want to jerk on him too early. They don't mess them with it. Camera being all fickle this morning. These things are touchy, man. I got to give them that. Let's see what we got. Got it. We hooked up. Don't feel like a really big fish, but we got one on here. Not a bad little flat head. He's four or five pounds. Not no giant, but a flat head nonetheless. I call it a good sign because we've been looking for these fish to come on up here. Let's see if he's hooked good enough to pull him up in here. There he is. Not the one we're looking for, but we're surely taking nice fish. No mud on his belly. They're starting to get a little more active. Nice fish, so let's send him back in here and let him grow up. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Yeah, guys, we're still trying to get set up this morning, and 
got a bite, early morning flathead bite. We're a little bit later than I used to get here. We've had a really, really um, large amount of rain. The lake came from about six foot low up to around, I'd say two foot above full. So they got some water pulling this morning, but it's a lot of stuff floating. So I waited till it got light before I came out just to be safe. Um, we on Clark's Hill Reservoir. I fished this spot the other day and caught a few nice fish. So I start out, I would try out here, start out here this morning and try this again. So stick around and let's see what's gonna happen today. Welcome to Whisper Pigs Fishing. I thank you for joining us. Oh, we're getting a hit, guys. I think he's got it. What you think? Oh, yeah. That's a much better fish here. I don't think he's a big one, but a nice one. I don't think he's up the pig, but he's up the better than that last flathead. Oh yeah, this one's got a little bit more, a little bit more muscle on his back. Nice one, man. That's a nice fish. Let's see if can grab the net here. Yeah. Not a giant, but a nice fish. We'll take him. He not the pig we're looking for. Oh, we can get him in the net, eh? There we go. I think we got him now. Let's see what we got. He grunting this morning. There we go. Not a bad one. Listen to that pig grunt. Oh, he's gonna stop. Not a bad fish, so we'll take them like that all day long. That one's well in the teens. We'll take them all day like that. We're gonna put him back in here and let him grow up. Alright. Let go. Thank you, sir. Oh, he made a nice blast, didn't he? Yeah, that was a better blue. I'm, I'm actually trying to catch some of these flatheads out of this lake. It's got some good ones in it, but it's got some massive blues in this thing. Little sand tea rig on a slip, on a sinker slider. I just use that so I can take my weights off and on as I change tactics. And that is a little piece of cut bluegill. I'm gonna throw it back out there and see what happens. All right, buddy, get us another one.
Yeah, you, you guys know how I like to pull up on the bank. You got to be careful about that because some of these banks, when they got a little steep edge to them, you'll pull up on the bank. And this is what you'll get. You'll get a splash well full of water and about an inch of freeboard. We had some boats come by a while ago and push water over the back of the boat. It's just something to think about. I mean, you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to pull up here and mess yourself up. Just keep that in mind. Pulling up on the bank, kind of judge how steep the bank is. The steeper the bank, the less you can pull up on it. So that's just a thought to keep in mind there. Oh God. You got your hooks up. This is the live bluegill in a tree. Look at that freaking boy out there, man. This is a fish we can get him out. Alright, I think we got him free. Feels like it might be a real one here. I'm trying to get him out of these anchor rope. Got two really short anchors down. Mm. 
They pulling, buddy. Man, this guy's doing some pulling, Jack. It's a nice fish. I ain't seen what it is, but it's got a big tail. Big old blue. Pulling, yeah, this looks like a big old blue. I got an anchor drop right behind me right here. It's only down like just about directly under the boat. And this guy just keeps on swimming right by it. He's leaving out again, man. And look at that bend. Let me get you turned over here where you can see what's going on. Look at the bend in this rod. It ain't a monster pig, but it's a nice one. Looks like he'll bust 20 pounds. He's rolling that drag, man. Come on, piggy. Stay hooked up for me. There, Bubba. That's a nice one. Let's see if we can get him in the boat. I mean, that's a nice fish. I don't care where you're from. That's a nice one. Let's see if we can get him up in here. There's a timer going on. That didn't take long at all. Alright, come on back, let's go. Uh, uh. Betting this to be a big flathead. He's flopping around in the floor and pulls the hook out. That's a uh, eight off. Let me grab a glove or let me see if his grippers will pick this fish up, man. I mean, he's a hoss, Jack. That dude's growing right there. Pig there, Jack. 
That's what we've been looking for. This one right here is gonna push up near 50 pounds, I would guess. That is a full beard pig right there. Look at the whiskers on that dude. <laughs> That's some good stuff, man. This fish come out of eight feet of water. He hit a live brim in a lay down. And what a fight, man. That's some good stuff. I don't care who you are. I'm gonna set him down here and try to get a weight on him. <clears throat> 47 pounds, three ounces. And my grippers weigh nothing. That's a 47 pounder. I'm gonna give you one more look at him. And we're gonna put him back in the lake. All right, last look at him. We're gonna send the swine back in there. Full beard pig, that's what I'm talking about. All right, my friend. I surely appreciated that. That's a nice fish right there. We'll give him a second to get his junk together. He's ready to go. Thank you, Lord. What a fish, man. What a fish, guys. <laughs> they get a little bigger than that here, but... I mean, in South Carolina, in the area that I'm in, we're not at Santee. That's a nice fish. He bored this old man out. I don't care who you are. That's some good stuff right there. That's what makes us get up early to come out, get slimed all the way up to your elbows. It was such good stuff there. Well, stay tuned let's see what else we can do we may fish on up in this thing a little bit farther but that fish hit a brim about that long Whew. good stuff man man that dude tore up <laughs> i saw that i saw that little clip laying there and i didn't know what it came off of and it came off the door to that thing right there when he hit the floor he just tore up some junk that was fun man that was so much fun that's a good that's a good thing right there all right guys we hooked us up another white perch we didn't have another bluegill that was in that size class so i had a little bit of a nice size white perch and i sent him on up in that tree again we're gonna reset this timer for 30 minutes and see what happens see can i catch my breath it's rough on the old guy i'm telling you well guys the timer went off and we'll give it a little while longer we're gonna reel this up we're gonna move up in here a little bit farther there's another place on the map looks a little bit like this so we're gonna go up in there and give it a try and see what happens
Estoy perfecto, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this thing. This planter's got a fish on it. I'm thinking we'll get him in. Dude, got fish on it. I'm wondering why my planer board looks like it's hung up. Now I know it's hung up in a fish's mouth. Bad little channel. Yeah, little channel kept. I was wondering where that planer kept going sideways, and finally I saw him jerk on it. So we're gonna let him back in there, let him grow up. Thank you, sir. We back up in a creek right here. I see somebody's been running limb lines in here. Matter of fact, there's a fish home back on one up there, and he looked like he'd been on there for a long time. I hate it when I see that happen, but what you gonna do about it? You can't mess with them. All right, guys, we got them thrown out. We're gonna set the timer, give them a half hour, see what we can catch right here. I think we got another little channel kit. About to be the deal. It'll be time to leave from here. That's exactly what we got, another channel. catching fish but I think we can do better than that we're gonna reel this stuff up and keep the gap on it we gave it about 15 minutes this ain't what we're looking for thank you sir I think we're starting to get another hit right here Baby. 
kind of down in a in a blow down not a blow down but a piece of floating debris here can't really tell what's going on definitely ain't hooking him Then got zeroed in on this bait though. And we all know what that means. If you bite stuff got a hook in it long enough, guess what? You get the hook. Time. Just a little town. And he's trying to tangle us up in all these lines. I kind of said that wrong. He is tangling us up in all these lines. Blue, no, that's the channel. Yep. Hit a piece of chicken. Everything else we caught has been on cut bait. Another little fish. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you playing. I might have to sit right here a couple more minutes. Yes, yeah, not what I'm looking for, but a fair bite. I'll sit right here a little bit longer. I like to catch fish. I love the big ones, but I like to catch them. Simple as that. Well, guys, the timer went off on our last spot here. We've had a really good day. Caught that 147 pounder. That was a nice blue catfish. And we caught a few more fairly decent fish, a few channels, a couple of blues. All in all, really good day. I'd like to thank you for joining me here on Whisker Pigs Fishing. And I would like to invite you to subscribe and give us a like there as we try to get this thing up and running. If it, if it did something, if you learned something here today, how about do that for me? I just want to thank you for joining me today and leave you with a God bless. Have a great day.